a select group of eighth grade students are working hard to create something unique. They worked very closely with their teachers as part of their STEM curriculum to develop an app that would improve the community in some way, shape, or form. We had gotten wind that these kids had did some really cool things with applications. They had wrote some applications mainly for the city of Vineland, but they did write one specifically for Inspira Health Network. So Inspira invited the group of students from the Applied Math and Science Academy to demonstrate their creations. You know, it blew us away. To think about where we were in the eighth grade and to where these kids are today and what they're doing, it just blew our minds and we knew that we had to do something to help accelerate the program. This afternoon, executives from Inspira filed into the Landis Intermediate school theater to let these students know that their hard work had paid off because Inspira would be awarding them with a $10,000 grant to help accelerate their program. We're also going to be launching a mentoring program directly with Inspira Health Network uh, folks that are in technical fields, scientific fields. They are going to be able to continue a relationship with Inspira and um, you know learn from people who are actually in the field and using the things that they're learning in their classrooms. We're also going to be purchasing 100 licenses for something called Code, Code Combat so they can learn Learn and accelerate their programming skills. Helping the students take what they're learning in the classroom into the community they live in. Community is important to us and again this is a huge part of the community and that's what we're here to do today is celebrate these kids and what they do for the community as well. The bonds that they're building with community members is really important to us because they're not just focusing on how can they make their lives better but they're also looking at the society as a whole. I'm Kimberly Carr for SNJ Today.